I created this video to encourage those of us with modest budgets not to be discouraged by all the information on YouTube and other places insisting that you have to spend exorbitant amounts of money to get a great home theater experience. There are many videos on YouTube showing home theaters and surround sound configurations that are far beyond most budgets. I'm not saying that these other videos are not worthwhile or that these videos aren't fun to watch. They can offer good ideas that you can translate into cheaper solutions to create your own theater experience. But much of the information doesn't help the average Joe understand how to build and configure his own home theater on a modest budget. I know there's always going to be people who have spent tens of thousands of dollars to create an amazing home theater and they don't want someone telling them that they've wasted their money. Please understand that that's not what I'm saying. For those of you who have unlimited budgets to create your dream home theater configurations, my videos aren't designed with you in mind. My opinion is that you can achieve 90% of the great home theater experience for about 10% of the cost if you have the space and consider a few things. The room you use and all the little details are up to your budget, and these are things to consider when selecting the space you use for your home theater. Basements are great because it's easy to block out the light at any time of the day, but most light can be overcome by blinds and blackout curtains. Depending on your room's walls and furniture, you may need to add fabric, rugs, and other sound dampening materials so that your sound is not bouncing all over the room. Also, seating is a big consideration. You do want seating that is comfortable, but it's up to your budget and can always be upgraded later. Now, a little bit about your sound system. With each new version of Dolby and DTS surround sound, there is a new receiver that allows the system to be configured with more and more speakers. And yes, it's important to be surrounded by sound when watching a movie, but I truly believe there's a point of diminishing return. Modern sound system includes a multitude of speakers to provide the perfectly balanced soundscape. The center channel, left and right front speakers, a bit more to the left and a bit more to the right speakers, surround speakers, surrounding surround speakers, and various overkill to ensure eventual deafness speakers. And the all-important subwoofer. I know I can already hear someone saying he doesn't know what he's talking about. He would say that if he'd experienced the ultimate in Dolby Atmos and 34 speakers placing him in the center of the action. Though it is a neat experience to achieve a great home theater experience, you only need a 5.1 surround sound system and today there's no reason not to have a 7.1 system because the price is so cheap and gives you a 360 degree sound experience. Even a lot of the 7.1 and 5.1 surround sound receivers offer height channels which place speakers up high in front of you which gives you a Dolby Atmos like experience. When you can purchase a good 7.1 surround sound receiver for about $100, you remove about $6,000 or more from the cost of your home theater. I think what many people overlook is that once the lights are turned down and the focus is on the screen and not the room, with a good surround sound system the experience is something magical. With a good projector and screen, that's about 90% of the experience. So is it really worth spending an extra 6,000 more to get the last 10% of the sound experience? Now this is something that each of us have to answer for ourselves. But this is my opinion. I honestly feel fully satisfied with my home theater experience and truly don't feel my experience is lacking in any way. So in this channel, I've created videos that help the average person purchase and configure a home theater and surround system within their budget shooting for around that 90% of the experience at about 10% of the cost. In my other videos, I'll go over each type of surround sound receiver and tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your system. But to get started and to help you identify the systems I'm talking about, consider the following. With most surround sound audio receivers, the main surround sound speakers are always the 5.1 or 7.1 primary speakers. This is where 90% of the systems are focused. So purchasing almost any quality 5.1 or 5.7 surround sound receiver will give you a good surround sound experience. Now, there are a lot of good brands and models of surround sound audio video receivers. Some of my favorite brands are Onkyo and Denon, but others will work fine. As a side note, I have had a lot of issues with Sony receivers. They work well, but their front displays tend to fail and then they're a pain, so I would recommend staying away from older Sony models. For your video, a large TV will work, but for the same price or less, you can use a screen. All you need is a white wall or an inexpensive projector screen. Be sure that it's the largest size you can use in your space. You get a big difference in your movie experience just by having a little larger screen to work with. With a projector, you can make your video as big as the space will allow. 
TVs are good up to about 80 inches, while projector screens tend to be over 110 inches or more. Yes, it's amazing to see photos and Super HD video of places around the world, but 4K, in my opinion, is the extra 10% that you pay the premium 90% for. I have a 1080p projector and no one has ever said, wow, I just can't get over how distracting that picture quality is. It's just the opposite. People are always amazed at the quality of the picture. As the price comes down, this is something you can always upgrade. Just be sure your projector is a quality brand and not some unknown Chinese brand that tends to fudge the numbers and claim to have higher resolution than they do. Don't be fooled into believing that having a $4,000 4K projector is going to make your movies 100% more enjoyable. 10% yes, 20% maybe, 100% not likely. So like I said before, I know there's always going to be people who have spent tens of thousands of dollars to create an amazing home theater and they don't want someone telling them that they wasted their money. For those of you who have unlimited budgets to create a home movie theater, go for it. My videos are not designed with you in mind. But thanks for watching anyways.